it is time for some empties. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you so much for understanding that um, I had a lot going on and I needed to take my first ever YouTube break. It was, for those of you that are new to my channel, I just took a one week break from uploading. I normally upload on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays, and occasionally a bonus Sunday video. But um, I, the comments that you guys put on that video where I was announcing that was just, it just touched my heart and um, makes me smile. I, I appreciate you so much and it's so nice to know that you appreciate the, you know, what I do. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for understanding, for your kind comments. Um, I wasn't actually on vacation. I was working this past week as I do every week, <laughs> but we were gone the weekend before. So normally when I'm, when things are going on throughout the week, I'm able to pre-record, but because we were gone camping the weekend before, I was back for a day and then I was off traveling for work, I wasn't able to do that. But, I am back, and thank you again so much. I really, really appreciate it. So, we have some empties for you guys today, and we, I say we, there's nobody else here but me. <laughs> and I have them in my cute little 31 bin. And um, I am, so for those of you that are wanting to get one of these or the makeup bag that I've shown before, I am still trying to, to get in touch with my 31 person. It's just that our schedules haven't meshed and that sort of thing, so I will still do that if you're interested. You guys will have to let me know if you're still interested in me doing that. I would do it over on my vlog channel. Anyway, here we go. I have these in no order, which kind of gives me heart palpitations, but we're just going to dig and see. So the first thing that I have in here is the Absolute um, Green Tea Extract wipes. These are my favorite ones. There are a couple of different versions of the Absolute. These ones are great. I get them at TJ Maxx. There's 60 of them for $5. You can't go wrong. Great price point. Absolutely my favorite wipes aside from the Neutrogena ones, but these are less expensive. So there you have it. Um, okay. The next thing I have here is the Joyco Body Lux Conditioner in the ginormous size. I, I love this. I've said that before. I've talked about this particular line, the Body Lux line, for a really long time. Um, but this, I'm not going to buy it in this ginormous container anymore because it's too much of a pain in the keister to fill up my other bottles of shampoo. It's just, it's too much. It's too much, I tell you. So, um, yes, love it. Won't buy it in that size anymore. It's inexpensive enough at TJ Maxx that I can just buy the smaller ones. So, so there, that's that. I used up another one of these. I've talked about this before, but I, I hate to not mention things I've talked about before for the sake of new subscribers and that sort of thing. This is the Neutrogena Hand Cream, and I get the one that is fragrance-free, and it's just Norwegian Formula Hand Cream. There's nothing more to it than that. I have really dry hands. Even in the summer, my hands get really, really dry. You can actually see. I used up something else, and then I was traveling, so I will show you if you can kind of see. I get a little bit there, not that anybody wants to see my dry skin, but this is the only thing that will keep my hands from doing that. So I'm happy to be home and back using <laughs> this again. I didn't want to, I didn't check any luggage and, ugh, anyway. And I always keep the, somebody asked me this long ago how you keep the products good when you cut them open. I stick them in some sort of a bag like this and I find that that helps me. All right, the next thing I have is another Bath and Bite, well not another, but I've used another. It's been a while since I filmed. Bath and Body Works Cashmere Glow. I really like the scent. This is a deep, I don't know what they describe it as, but this is kind of, I don't know, it has a little bit of deepness to it. So it's not, I don't think it's necessarily the most summery sort of fragrance, but let me just see if it says anything about what it is. It's a warm blend of golden peach and shimmering vanilla with a, with a heart of soft cash. Cashmere Musk. The musk is like the deepness I'm talking about. So, anyway, love it. Would absolutely reverse it again. But I gotta sit up here. Okay, this is a hand cream that um, one of my subscribers sent to me a while back. It's the Red Carpet Premier Youth Cream Revitalizing Hand Cuticle and Nail Cream. I have no idea where you get this. I will try to find it and link it for you below if you're interested. One thing I liked about it was the pump, actually. You can't get in there to get all the rest of it out, but I did like the pump. I liked the scent, and it was okay. I, I, I What I did with this to use it was every other night at it with my Neutrogena. So I would use this one night and then my Neutrogena the next night, and that kept my hands. I don't think in the winter this would work for me because, you know, it's super dry here in the winter. All right, the next thing I have, this is just the kind of nail polish remover I always use, and this is the Studio 
35 strengthening. It's purple when you pour it out of there. So whenever I fill up, I've, and I, I have a Zoya pump thing that I just fill up with this one. Yep. All right, I have another Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Gel. Yes, body shower gel. I really like these. I, I have no issue with those. Continue to use them and the um, warm vanilla sugar if you've been around a little bit. It's one of my absolute favorite flavors, scents, from Bath & Body Works all, all around. Here's something different. I have a Scentsy uh, bar thing here. This is the Jumpin' Jelly Bean. This is a really nice summer scent. I, d I think it's still available. I don't really know. But I love this one. It's very fruity and just, like, summery. I, I really... I liked that one. This one is sad. This is a makeup one. I, these, this really is random in here. This is a makeup one. And this is the Rouge Bunny Rouge Aqua Prelude in the Clouds Aqua Primer. That's what it's called. This stuff is great. If you have dry skin, absolutely amazing. I'm sad to see this go. I did get my beauty spoon down in there and get as much as I could. There's a little bit left, in, but that I could not get any more of it. But this stuff is absolutely great. So I scooped it out, put it in a little container, used it until it was gone, but it is absolutely great. If you have dry skin and you've really struggled to find a primer, that one, while pricey, absolutely worth every penny, in my humble opinion. <laughs> okay, this is the, it was a travel size container that I, when I had the full size, I actually was refilling this as well. This is the Bliss Fabulous Foaming Face Wash. I really like this one. I, I was using this when I traveled. I've switched over to an Algenist travel size that I have right now that I'm trying to use up, but this is a great, a great face wash. I would buy it again. I, I'm hesitating only because I feel like it does a little bit of the after you wash your face you can't wait to get a moisturizer on it sort of feeling and I don't necessarily love that but this is it's a, it's a two-in-one cleanser and exfoliator. I liked it. I liked it in the morning. I'm iffy on the repurchasing. That's helpful I'm sure. While we're on skincare this is the Kokendos Cleansing Spa Water. This worked just like Bioderma does, in my opinion. The only thing I'm not sure about, <laughs> I'm hesitating, is that I went through a span there where no matter what I did when I would wake up in the morning, my eyes were really red. And the only thing that I can figure, because it didn't change anything else, and it wasn't allergies or anything like that, is that this might have been irritating my eyes. I've stopped using it, and it, my eyes aren't red in the morning anymore. I mean, I finished it, obviously, and then my eyes aren't red. So... I, I don't think I can repurchase that. It was a it was a gift. It was a very sweet gift, and um, she knows I'm thankful for it. <laughs> but I think that it was doing something to my eyes, so we're skipping over that one for the next time. Let's put these to the side. Oh, I have another lotion in here that I figured. Oh, Amber Blush from Bath and Body Works. Really like this one. I really like this one a lot. Let's see what this one says that it is. An ultra feminine scent in a sensual blend of raspberry champagne, gardenia petals, and magnolia blossom with a seductive kiss of crystallized amber and creamy vanilla suede. I don't know what in there is the reason that I like it, but I really liked it. I found out about this scent, I think, from It's Kirsten, and it was in the scrub, the golden sugar scrub, and that started doing weird things on my skin. I talked about that last month, but the lotion, big fan. Big fan. All right, I think the rest um, in here is makeup and stuff, so I'll just, uh, let's go with this. The DK, <laughs> this is the DKNY perfume, um, the Just Be Delicious. I've had this forever, it was on my list to use up. There's a little bit more in there, but I cannot get it to spray out any longer. Um, I, I like this, I won't repurchase it, so I'm just kind of over it. But it was nice, fruity, light, good summer scent in my opinion. A couple more drug, or a couple more skincare things. This is, I'm going to try to unsqueeze this because it's the La Roche Posay, I think is how you say it, Redemic Eyes. And I actually thought that this was, oh, here we go. So that's what it looks like. I use this in the morning as my eye cream, and I was told by somebody, and I apologize, I can't remember who it was right now, that this is not so much an eye cream, but it was, it's an anti-aging eye corrector, and um, it was supposed to, you know, supposed, it was supposed to help, I think, with wrinkles and that sort of thing, but um, I just used it as an eye cream, I didn't notice my wrinkles going away or anything, that, to my knowledge, but 
it's very it was very nice I liked the delivery system with the little spout it was good I would absolutely repurchase this again I have other stuff I'm using right now but I will repurchase it again and then I finished up this I think I talked about this in a couple of videos the Burt's Bees intense hydration night cream with Clar Clary Sage this is great stuff. I, I Of course, I can't show you what it looks like because it's gone. But this is very thick. If you don't have dry skin, I would probably steer clear of this. If you have dry skin, though, very, very nice. I would even consider, I think, trying this in the winter when my skin gets to the crazy point. I would consider repurchasing this and trying this again like over the CeraVe tub moisturizer that I've used forever just to see if it would work like that because that stuff doesn't have much more in it aside from hydration where I feel like this has a little bit more for your skin. Does that make any sense? Good gracious, Kristen. Um, I used up a Benjabel brush clean or cleansing balm. I love this stuff. This is all I'm using aside from I use Purity made simple for my um, like dense like my F80 and that sort of thing. Every other brush gets cleaned with this or with their liquid. That's just what I'm using now. Works for me. And I have to say that I, I, I don't know, a while back when I started using that Masters Brush Cleaner, I feel like a couple of my brushes that weren't bleeding before maybe started to bleed. And I feel like some of those, since I've switched over to using just this, have stopped bleeding. Coincidence? Possibly. Probably not. Um, all right. These are mascaras. So don't, those don't get talked about yet. This, I have finally given up the ghost. <laughs> this was my MAC Brulee. And so I have replaced it with other things. But I think I've done pretty well on that. So yay me, I finished an eyeshadow. Doesn't matter the fact that it's one I use every single day. But uh, Okay, I have, oh, I have one other thing. This is the Tarte Brow Architect. I used up the brow powder in there. Or the, you know, the pencil part. I did not use this part here. So this is a, there's kind of three ends. There's that part here that's supposed to highlight. There's the pencil part, which is in kind of a, you can see the kind of shape that it's in. And then there's a spoolie on this. My opinion on this went back and forth and back and forth. I loved it, I didn't. I loved it, I didn't. I still don't know, so I will not repurchase it because I still don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have, I, I seem to not be in love with my brows lately. That's probably... Part of, part of my problem. Okay, so I have some perfumes. As I mentioned to you guys before, um, I'm trying to go through some of my little sample sizes. So I did some traveling, some camping, that sort of thing. Yeah, I brought perfume camping. I actually don't know that I used it though. Anyway, so I have a Prada candy in here, which I just have, I'm about to finish up another one of these, so I'll probably not show that next month. But I like this. It's pretty sweet for me. I, I don't I don't know that I love it, and I would not purchase it, I don't think, but it's because it's pretty sweet for me. This one was DKNYB Delicious in Fresh Blossom. I've gone through a full one of that. It's a very nice summer scent, but not one that I would um, wear so much in the winter. It's just a little bit too light, but I do like it. I, I like it for summer. And then I had a little travel size of Boyfriend, which I'm sad it's gone because that's one of my all-time favorites, but Boyfriend is a really... <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> in that video, if you guys watched that, where I said, I have a full-size boyfriend, da 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 da, -da. I, I didn't even think at that point that I was saying full-size boyfriend. Right. Does Bob know? Okay, so anyway, I really like this. I do have a full size of the boyfriend perfume in my little um, cavern old perfumes up there. And then the last one that I have here is the Juicy Couture, Couture Couture, one of my absolute favorites. I was took that when I went down to Chicago. And then this I have in there because <laughs> this is Burberry Brit. This is a cologne for men. But I wore it on myself by accident and liked it. So I don't know. It's There's still something in there, but I feel funny about wearing it because it's for men. I don't know. I don't know. Very quickly, um, some face masks that I didn't do last month, and then you guys asked about it. So one that I wanted to make sure that I talked about and let you know is the Sephora. I've only used one of the ones that I Instagrammed about, and this is the pomegranate mask, uh, anti-fatigue and energizing. I liked this. The mask was a huge, if I remember correctly, like huge, like a, 
if you have head even bigger than mine, A, I'm sorry. B, because <laughs> my head is ginormous. Uh, B, it fit, I mean, there's, there's like excess. So actually, if you have a little bit smaller head than me, um, this might be too much material for you. I hope that I'm remembering that it's this is the right one that I'm talking about. But anyway, um, but I liked how it worked. I liked how my skin felt the next day. It was it was great. Um, I used another one of the brightening masks from Target. I really like these masks. I like this one. I like the gel one. Um, I just I really do feel like it um, just kind of helps even out your skin tone and that sort of thing. Um, I. I've been trying to um, like kind of switch up my masks when I go throughout the week, so I'll do a brightening one one day, a vitamin C one, maybe a cleansing one, you know. Anyway, this is the, uh, I don't have, oh, this is Absolute. I, I seem to really like this brand. This is a great, a, a nice mask as well. That's, again, the vitamin C one. The Make Me Over, I've talked about this before. It's a good kind of everyday mask. mask. It's not a, it's not a be-all, end-all. If you can find it on sale at TJ Maxx, great. If you can't, I don't think... I don't think you need to run out and get it. Um, this is an anti-age, from Skin Benefits, anti-aging grapeseed facial mask. And it rebalances the skin's natural moisture level. And I had put this on when I was feeling like all of a sudden my skin was particularly dry. Really like this. This is a really nice one. And again, if I can find places that you can buy these things, obviously other than TJ Maxx, I will list it below. Talked about this a bunch. This is the Forever Luminous. I find these at TJ Maxx almost all the time. And this is the Honey and Collagen, just great for adding some more um, moisture. The Bamboo Spa, this is a, an okay one, it's not my favorite one. Um, this is another, oh, this is a Vitamin E Brightening one from Absolute, good kind of everyday one. And this one was awesome, my friend Crystal sent this to me, it was a two-piece mask by Shiseido. And it's the Benefiance Pure Retinol Intense Revitalizing Mask. Oh, I loved how my face looked after this one. This was really, really great. So thank you so much, Crystal. I loved that one. And then another one I had, that this was a gift from um, Tammy from Uppy Speeds. This is the Martini Grapeseed Collagen Mask. This was really, really nice. My skin felt like I was 10 years younger the next morning from this one. And it says on here that the grapeseed extract is a powerful antioxidant, a natural skin purifier that helps protect cells from, cells from free radical damage um, and healthy, promote healthy circulation. It uh, extracts, hydrates, protects, moisture loss, it's, it's goodness. In a, however, do you see this color right here? That kind of, that's the color it is, and it turns your skin that color for a while. I took it off and I was like, whoa, Betty. It scared me a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, I think that that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is probably a long one, so <laughs> sorry. Thank you so much for watching. I'm hoping actually to have a bonus Sunday video tomorrow with my favorites. So we will see if that happens. And on my face today, I have the Chanel uh, Pro Le Mer. And I have my Camp Cosmetics Take Two in... I can't remember, but I'll list it below. <laughs> As my, on my cheeks today, I have the Bobbi Brown Blush in Blushed, which is right here. And on my eyes, I don't know that, let me, let me just zoom in a little. All right. So I just thought I would zoom in a little. I don't normally do this, but I feel like I was really far away. Anyway, I have the Too Faced Single Shadow and Social Light on my eyes. This is one of my all-time favorite shades. I haven't worn it in so long. I mean, let's just look at the gorgeousness that it... Okay, it's, it's not a swatch fest, Kristen. It's the end of a video. And um, also on my face, or on my eyes, I have a little bit of Decline, which is from Camp Cosmetics right here. Just to kind of deepen that up, but stay in the same sort of color family, I have a little Conviction underneath my lash line. I think that's about it. And then on my lips today, I actually have a combination of two Camp Cosmetics lip lavas. I have one in Katina and one in the 60137, which is the, um, let me turn this so you can see, the um, zip code, I believe, where his store is located. So you guys can kind of see that. I have a combination of those two. And I felt like it worked well with the eye and the blush. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day. Again, I really appreciate you understanding me taking a little bit of a break. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.